I got the iDoc D23 sitting pretty on my desk. One click flips my whole world, no stress. Triple screens jumping like they're trying to impress. If you don't have this box, yeah, buddy, God bless. It's a tiny tin king with the big energy. Turns cares into glory like a train to a beat. Plug it in once now, you live in harmony. The iDoc D23. Welcome to productivity. Hey guys, welcome back to another Reality Check Tech video. Today we're taking a look at the iDoc D23 8K triple monitor display port KVM switch. It allows you to multitask easily with three screens. As you can see right there, if you have like a game system or multiple desktops, uh, you can actually use them with three screens, which is really, really cool. Before I was using a Mac mini over here and it wasn't really the best because I had to jump back and forth and I needed both systems, a PC and a Mac mini um, to be able to get both ecosystems with the different products and software that I work with. Uh, what I found was even though this tool wasn't originally for that, it was meant for just PCs or just laptops or game systems, it also does work great with Mac systems as well. I've gone ahead and tested it and it works flawlessly. So if I look over here at my setup right now, you can see I'm currently using my PC. We're over here on the browser taking a look at it. If I go and open up my computer, I can see, yep, I'm on my PC right here. What's nice is I can actually go over to my Mac and I can access my Mac from my PC, which is really, really cool. So I can see all my files right there through the ethernet. If I go over here to the actual switch, and I hit this little button right here. Let me go ahead and make it look a little bit nicer. There we go, get the better one. If I hit this button right here, you're gonna see it switch to this second one right there. And then what we can do is we can jump back here and we can count one Mississippi, two Miss. oh, that was fast. It just transferred right over there. Now we're running off the Mac mini instead of the tower that's right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right over here and we're gonna see if we go into the network, we can also go into shared folders from our PC so we're able to see files and then for example if I wanted to open up something from our PC and make it work all right okay so that works just fine go back over here again to switch it right back to my PC all I've got to do is just hit this button right over here and in real time we're gonna go ahead and see it hit the button one Mississippi two Mississippi Three Mississippi, four Miss. Oh, it's taking a little bit longer this time. Five Mississippi, six Miss. Okay, yep. Uh, less than ten seconds to go back and forth. And yeah, my PC's got some stuff going on here. What's nice is that all the peripherals, as you can see, I'm using the same mouse and the same keyboard on both because anything you plug in right here is gonna work on both systems. So even my little trackpad works on both systems, which is really, really nice. And on the back here, you can see we've got six DisplayPort inputs and we've got three DisplayPort outputs which allows us to actually do the two monitors simultaneously. It has two of those USB connections, one for each of the computers. And then also on the back there, it does have a uh, 1.5 amp, let me zoom it in a little bit right there, USB-A and a one gigabyte ethernet port on the back there. And then a control spot right there, which I, I didn't, didn't use at all. On the front of it, it does have the audio out. It also has an SD card in, as well as a USB-C 100 watt output. So you can charge things like a laptop from it or do basic stuff. Again, anything that you plug into this guy is going to allow you to control between the two PCs. It doesn't share the accessories at the same time, right? When you push the button, it stops them from the other PC and turns them on for the one. With this little guy, you can plug in two different computers or devices, and with one button, you can instantly change between the systems and get all three of your monitors working just fine. So if you're building a multi-monitor setup like this and you want it to be more professional, more sleek, a little bit more streamlined, a KVM switcher just like this is something that's gonna do the job really, really well. And especially if you're in development and you need to be able to have a PC and a Mac station. Again, uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and clean this up a little bit better, but this is the best thing that I could potentially buy for my money to increase my productivity without having to move over to an, an entirely different setup every single time. And now I have a free monitor so my son can use it for his workstation. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, anyways, this, uh, this thing, when I first got it, I actually, when I first needed it, I didn't even know it existed. And then when I started looking for the kinds of products out there to see if it was even possible, to my surprise, not only did it exist, but the very precise exact thing that I needed for my setup was not only there, but works, 
So I can say, and I just wanted to show it to everybody again this last time before we end the video. Let's go ahead and hit the button. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, we got all the Apple stuff back and working. And again, like I mentioned, I can move my mouse around, no problem. And the keyboard and everything works just fine. Trackpad here also does allow me to move stuff around, no problem. So. Yeah, so good, so good. All right, so I hope this video brought you some value. And uh, again, when we're taking a look at this right here, this was kind of my test setup. I now need to make it look pretty and put it all together in kind of a nicer way. But just being able to have it here and push that button really, truly is such a nice thing. And to be able to get my files on the Mac and the PC together, awesome, awesome. It's so nice to be streamlined and to feel fast like that uh, and, and it totally worth the money. So, all right, thanks guys, appreciate it. See you in the next video. Hey guys, welcome back to another. Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys, welcome back to another. Hey guys, welcome. 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 Hey guys,